Hi guys, it's Scott. Hey guys, it's Liz. The King Queen Cichlids, and today we're gonna wrap up loose ends. We're gonna go back to all the videos that we've done, uh, part one or part two of, and wrap those up. Put a nice tidy ending to it because we got so much planned for you guys, you will not believe it. We got really big plans, right? Yes. All right. So without further ado, Cichlid Twin Powers activate. Cichlid Twin Powers. The latest yeah. shirts are out. The muscle shirt shown by Liz. Yeah. Check them pythons out. <laughs> and the new white with the black print king Woo. queens. You guys, we have these shirts available. Check them out. Without further ado, let's be on our mission. All right. Off. Off. Last time we talked, our Jaguar pair, the Parachromus Mana Winds, had laid eggs and had wigglers. If you can look closely, we have thousands of fry. Now I've scooped out about 200 and put into a, a tank to grow out. I'm going to let the parents do what they want to do with the rest of the fry. If you guys are in the local area, we're going to the CCY meeting on Saturday. If you'd like some fry, let us know now. Contact us and we'll bring some fry to the CCY meeting. All right, check out this video so you get a close-up of this incredible pair in the thousands of fry. And we're off! So our last video on the Paracromus Mana Winds, here we are with free swimming fry. Probably a thousand fry right there. Now I've pulled out 200 uh, to grow out uh, to pass on to other collectors who may be interested in keeping the Paracromus Mana Winds, aka Jaguar Cichlid. But what a magnificent uh, cichlid and what great parents they are. Now for survival reasons, the parents always produce about a thousand or more fry because there's so many predators in the wild that will eat their fry. Uh, if you've never had Paracromus Mana Winds, try them out today. You will not be disappointed. This ends our video of the Jaguar Cichlid. Alright guys, one other thing I wanted to tie up was my video on my peacock bass. Now I got these peacock bass about three weeks ago from my buddy Scott Maurer from Reef to Rift. Uh, I originally had these two guys in my fish room in a 150 gallon tank but I just felt like they needed more space so I put them in my private office in my 210 gallon tank, the largest tank that I have in the house and they are really enjoying it. I even picked up an Oscar uh, this Saturday for one dollar from the ACLC meeting. Someone had brought them in, it was a rescue fish. No one wanted it, obviously a lot, not a lot of people have big tanks for uh, cichlids like that. Picked them up so far so good they are trying to get their pecking order uh, together but they are doing fine uh, so again the video we talked about originally was what do you do with these peacock bass once they reach a certain size and what is our responsibility as hobbyists what should we do with them so I went Liz and I both went to uh, Bass Pro Shop we talked to the manager there and this is what he had to say so check it out <laughs> and I are at Bro Bass Pro Shop. Bass Pro Shop and we are trying to uh, determine once our peacock bass get big, can we find a home for them? You mean I get bigger. Get bigger, yeah, because they're going to outgrow our 200 gallon tank. So we came to Bass Pro uh, to talk to some people. Uh, they did want to be on camera, which is fine, but they said they would be uh, open to getting the peacock bass after they reach a certain size and age and they go through some sort of quarantine. They go through a 90 day quarantine and a whole process uh, to make sure there's no disease or illness they're introducing into the thousands of gallons of aquarium. Alright, so this aquarium is huge. The Bass Pro Shop is a perfect store for fishermen and hunters. It has everything you could ever want. Now here's a shot of the aquarium. This is like the waterfall section and it drops into this 4,000 gallon tank. Uh, it is always full of people who are enjoying the aquarium, checking out the fish. Uh, it is a sight to see, especially if you've never been to like a national aquarium. 
this is pretty freaking awesome. Now the only concern I have as far as donating my peacock bass to this tank is this huge catfish that is coming out the corner here. Uh, obviously he has had many fish to eat. Several of them I'm sure are donation fish. Uh, I am not ready to donate my peacock bass and have this big boy eat him up. So I will be contacting the manager again before I bring my fish in so I can have some sort of uh, warm feeling that nothing's going to happen to my peacock bass, especially after all this long time of having them. Um, I assume I'm going to have them for another six months to a year before I donate them. Uh, as you can see, there are several fish that are hiding in this driftwood area, and I'm assuming that's because they're trying to stay away from that big bad catfish. Again, Bass Pro Shop, what a great store. If you're ever thinking of donating your fish because they're oversized, check Bass Pro Shop out. Alright guys, the one video I get the most response from is the video I put out against IFG. IFG and I were supposed to be going head to head with each other. What's better, African cichlids or Central and South American cichlids? Old world versus new world, colliding. Now I put my first video out, uh, I basically gift wrapped it to IFG and I just gave it to him. I gave him all the control, let him edit it, do whatever he wanted to do to it. Now he, he took my video, put a little funny twist in it, but he never really responded to uh, anything I had to say. It kind of reminded me of Eminem at 8 Mile when he got to the very end to the very last rapper and tore that rapper up so bad the rapper just stood there shook and he didn't know what to say and Eminem just kind of dropped the mic on him. It's kind of how I feel with IFG. I mean I came at him so hard it was like Mike Tyson with Michael Spinks. It was just a one round TKO. Never heard back from IFG as far as that video I think that he knows I kind of covered everything and there's nothing really he can respond back to. So all you guys that keep asking when's IFG going to respond, I think you already have a response. It's a big nothing. <laughs> I love IFG, you know I'm, I'm teasing you, IFG's been a huge, huge help to me in the YouTube world. So that concludes this last video, all loose ends are tied up, and now it's time for us to have fun and start making some new videos with some new adventures. Alright, get ready, see you guys later, bye bye.